Coronavirus is forcing colleges to rethink the way they handle admitting new students. As 7 News reporter Henry Coburn explains, standardized testing is beginning to matter less. Scores on standardized tests like the ACT and the SAT are usually a big part in getting into colleges and universities. And coronavirus is affecting admissions at many colleges and universities, including a couple here in the upstate. Access to standardized testing has been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. The cancellation and postponements of the SAT and ACT tests can hurt high schoolers looking at higher education. Certainly every student has been limited in their options and their opportunities because of coronavirus, because of quarantine and, and those situations. Brandon Stilley is the vice president for enrollment at Wofford College. Wofford has test optional admissions, meaning students who apply do not have to submit standardized test scores. Stilly says there's more to a student than numbers. We're looking beyond just their high school courses, their GPA and their test scores. We evaluate students based on their extracurricular activities, based on their recommendations and based on their essay. The test optional approach has been in place for three years now at Wofford, but because of coronavirus, it's a growing trend nationwide. That's led lots of colleges to um, go test optional, some for a year, some for uh, uh, another period of time um, experimentally, and then others, I think, have just decided to go test optional uh, until they make another decision. Here in the upstate, Converse College decided to adopt test optional admissions before the pandemic started. Also, the college will begin to allow male students for the first time this fall, a change that was initially set to roll out in 2021. And talking a little bit more about those standardized testing scores, the ACT is set next for June 13th, and then the SAT is set next for August. In Spartanburg, I'm Henry Coburn, 7 News. And students can contact the admissions offices at their schools of choice to see if the test optional approach is rolling out there.